What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm bringing you guys a review. Mmm, 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 mmm. Looks like we have a pink box Nike SB. Wow. This is gonna be good. I actually have a couple Nike SB pink boxes. Uh, all right, don't drop. Don't drop. No, oh, shh. Eh, eh. Hey -ah. Yo, look at that evolution real quick. So these are OG pink boxes, and this is the retro box right here. This is what we're gonna be reviewing. Look at the difference. This one has been oxidized so much, it doesn't even look pink anymore. This thing almost looks like a off-white, like compared to the desk. And this one's still pink, that's really cool. On the new box, you're gonna see that Nike SB, and on the old one, there's no Nike SB on it. Inside, we have the white Melvins. This is the 2004-2005 era. These things go crazy. But this is not the main focus of this video. <laughs> Shout out to kickscrew.com for sponsoring this video and giving me this pair to review for you guys. I really do appreciate it and I really love Nike SBs. So I hope to purchase more in the very near future and bring you guys more videos that a lot of other people have not posted. All of the info will be down below in the description. Yes, yes, yes. So we have a pair of the Pigeon Dunks that recently released. If you guys aren't Nike SB fans, there were a few other Pigeon releases. The Pigeon release before this one was called the purple pigeons those had a resale value but they weren't as crazy as the first ones that actually released the ones i'm referring to are the ones that dropped in new york and dudes were just going crazy there's a footwear frenzy going on in the city right now a special sneaker made just for new york is in such high demand people are fighting to own a pair of these things cbs 2's michael pomeran shows us how nike's pigeon dunk and feathers fly this home video shows the scene outside the Reed Space Store on the Lower East Side yesterday when nearly a hundred self-proclaimed sneakerheads got into a shoving match as they waited for the doors to open and the chance to buy one of only 20 pairs of pigeons. Limited edition, of course. Kids were piled up against the, the fence like it was a soccer game and I was just like, I can't believe this. Like, I, I was actually fearful at, at times for you know, the safety of the people here, you know, the staff, myself, I was just, you know, it was, it was scary at sometimes. No one was heard, and these pictures taken by store workers show their perspective and the crowds when the cops showed up. They could have at any time shut this whole thing down, and I wouldn't have blamed them at all. Nike only made 150 pairs of pigeons, all to be sold in New York City. 20 sold here at 300 bucks a pair by the graphic artist who Nike asked to design a shoe specifically for New Yorkers. Seeing the commotion from everything, people just came out and they just started recognizing sneakers and what everybody was about. I'm sure you had dudes just walking across the street and just seeing the massive lines and crowds just going crazy over sneakers and they really just wanted to chime in and just see what the commotion was about. And in some cases, a lot of people that didn't really know too much about sneakers after hearing like news stories and all of that, they got into sneakers. When these things came out, I wasn't sure if they were going to sell out or not. Jumping right into the shoe though, this thing is made with the best quality materials I have seen on a Nike SB in a while. The uppers consist of a really nice nubuck material, but it's a little bit different from most materials. This one has like a waxed feeling. If you ever felt a wax lace before, feels very similar to that. I did wear these around the house, so that's why they're creased up a little bit, so don't mind that. But this thing is super soft, and it almost feels like smooth leather if you close your eyes. That's how soft this nubuck is. Usually you get nubuck that pulls your finger and this is nothing like that. I really dig the all matte uppers on this. Just that matte black look, really clean and classy. And that hit of the pigeon on the rear gives it a really cool look. If you guys aren't aware about the pigeon releases, Jeff Staple uses the pigeon as an inspiration for a lot of his colorways. This one is just another version of the other pigeons that released, but the black can be found on the pigeon and the outsole is the same color as the pigeon's foot. See that? Bright orange. They brought back the fat tongue, which is awesome and they also brought back this really nice and cushy material for the ankle on the inside of the nike sb you're gonna get this little heel cup this is primarily for skaters but it also helps keep your shoe on if you're just like wearing it for everyday use it just ensures that your foot doesn't climb out whenever you're doing a trick but like i said it could be used for casual use everyday use whatever it may be it's just a nice hit on this shoe of course we have black laces on this one and that orangey red swoosh 
They also gave these red laces to complement the sneaker if you guys want to go crazy with this. I'm going to keep it nice and neutral and just let the orange pop and do its thing. We don't need the extra orange. And let's see how these insoles look. Insoles are everything. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Yo, these are sick. Just like Nike's used to be. This is nice. Extra cushion right here. You will not find this on a Jordan 1. When Jordan 1s come with this kind of cushioning on their insoles, that would be the day, man. That would be the day. Let me know what you guys think about these Nike SBs. Are these a copper drop for you guys? It's crazy to see how Nike SB had all of its clout, lost it for a little bit, and now it seems like they're dipping their feet back into the water with these. Their clout is slowly going back up, so what do you guys think? Will Nike SB ever be as hot as it used to be, or will they just flop again? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Comment your favorite Nike SB as well. I'm going back to school this week, so the videos might be a little bit sparse, but I am going to be keeping the heaters coming. Do not worry about that. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. Have a beautiful day. I'm out. I said I'm dropping Mercedes. My windows not tinted, they look at me crazy. I ride through my city. I talk to that bitch like, look what you made me. We came from the base.